OK, so your nails are all have different colors, you know that? OK, so ladies and gentlemen, all they're asking us to do is label or identify the angles of elevation and the angles of depression. Now, when we did these notes, all we talked about was that we can define an angle of elevation and an angle of depression based on a horizontal line. When we have a horizontal line, an angle of elevation was the angle above that horizontal. Now, it could look like that. It could look like that. It doesn't matter really where it's going, but whenever you have a horizontal line, the angle above it is your angle of elevation. Then, when you had an angle below, let me write these angles in, I guess. When you had an angle below your horizontal, that was what we call an angle of depression. OK, Caleb, you got that? And that's really all you missed, Carly. So now what we're going to want to do is look at this and identify, don't do it, don't do it, <laughs> identify what is going to be our angle of elevation and depression. Jake, I thought you were going to talk to me. Jake, do you want to talk to me? Jake? Yeah, OK. So um, what we're going to be looking at, just go around that way, please, is if you guys notice, we have two horizontal lines. Taylor, could you please check that out, please? We have two horizontal lines. Now, from each horizontal line is an angle. Hey, Robert. Robert. Okay. So from these two horizontal, we have two angles. The top horizontal line, Dominic, has an angle that is below the horizon, right? Or that horizontal. So Dominic, what do we call that? An angle of depression or elevation? OK, I'll say it again. We have a horizontal, and we have an angle that's going down from the horizontal. So this is an angle of depression. I don't know why I gave it two Ps. Then on this horizontal, we have another angle that's going up. So we call that, Robert, a elevation. angle of elevation. Now, if they wanted us to name them, remember, an angle, we can say them as three different points. So I can say angle, oh, this later right here, angle W, Z, P is your angle of depression. And for your angle of elevation, I'll say angle R, P, Z is my angle of elevation. All right. 